More with less, brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. I uh, went over to Coors Field yesterday to check out the Rockies and Dodgers, and I, I don't go for the game so much as I go to talk to players and coaches and managers before the game, gather some info for this very show, the sports show. It, it's easy to do during batting practice. Guys are walking in and out of the dugout. They're going to and from the field. I'll chat with whoever's walking by. You know, sometimes Cargo or Tulo will just sit and talk for a few minutes. Maybe a former Rocky like EY or Ellis Burks. They'll stop and shoot the breeze. I'll listen to what Walt Weiss has to say when he addresses the media every afternoon, and then I'll get him alone for a few minutes, ask him a few more questions. When the Rockies get done with BP, I then go over to the visiting dugout, and I do pretty much the same thing. When the Dodgers are in town, though, it just feels different. It feels bigger. It feels more, more Hollywood. Like last night. Who's wandering around the dugout? Country music star Toby Keith. He's a buddy of Dodgers manager Don Mattingly. It was kind of weird, though. He's with the Dodgers, yet he's wearing a Denver Broncos cap, which I guess was nice for being here in town. The whole Dodgers broadcast crew is like an all-star team. There's Oral Hershiser, there's Nomar Garcia Parra, there's Rick Monday, there's Fernando Valenzuela. Plenty of big names in uniform, too. Kershaw, Granke, Adrian Gonzalez, Jimmy Rollins, Ethier, the rookie center fielder, Jock Peterson, an emerging star. And then, behind the batting cage, watching the Dodgers take their licks, is hitting coach Mark McGuire. I always think of him in Oakland A's colors, green and gold, or St. Louis Cardinals red. But there he is in Dodger blue. And I, I look at him, I see him, and I have such mixed feelings. He and Sammy Sosa did help revive the game after the cancellation of the 94 World Series. Homers flying out of the park, monster shots, superhuman stuff. It was fun to watch until we found out why those balls were flying so far. Then I think of what a jerk he was for so much of his career. And I think about his embarrassing testimony in front of Congress. I'm not here to talk about the past. Really? And I think of his partial admission to steroid use, but never fully admitting what everyone else knew. And I'm really just numb to it now. During the whole ordeal back then, I, I would see him or read about him or listen to him talk. And as big a baseball fan as I am, I, I'd still I'd, I'd feel insulted. I'd get angry. Now I see him, and, and I just don't feel anything. I, I'm over it, and I'm over him. He's in a pretty good situation now for a guy who cheated and lied and cheated and lied some more. He's still in the game. He has a good job. He's with a good organization. He's having some success. Will he get into the Hall of Fame? Doubtful. Too many media people feel he wronged the game. My feelings are mixed on that subject, too, but I would bet against him. I would probably vote against him. I, mean, I, I know it's the Hall of Fame. It's not the Hall of Good Character. If it was the latter, the Hall of Good Character, then half the rascals in there would never have made it in. And then there's the argument, and this is my argument, that McGuire's numbers aren't good enough anyway. Maybe, maybe not. I, I kind of, I, I just don't care anymore. I'd rather talk about or talk to Oral Hershiser or Fernando Valenzuela or, or Walt Weiss. They bring back nicer memories. McGuire, not so much. And that's more with less. Brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. It's Colorado's number one volume Lexus dealer, conveniently located at I-25 in Bellevue, right off the freeway. You can go to their website and see current specials, or you can see large selection of new and certified pre-owned vehicles. The website is CooneyLexusOfGreenwoodVillage.com.